who is going to be the cast for the Fantastic Four? Could it be John Krasinski returning for Reed? Maybe even Jodie Comer gets to be Sue Storm. But for today's video, we're going to be focusing on one member of the team. And that member is Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch. I mean, we all love him, right? Who could be Johnny Storm in the MCU? My prediction? Rudy Pankow. Why Rudy Pankow? This guy just exudes Johnny. Well, at least to me. This is going to be a quick character poster, nothing too complicated or fancy, so you can follow the process and maybe perhaps even be inspired to design your own poster. So, without further ado, let's get started. To start off, I will use this shot of John Krasinski from Doctor Strange 2 and use this as the main body for the design. Please, can I fight you? Let him be 616 Reed Richards, please, please, please. I'm asking can I fight you? Come on, please. After masking him out, I will use the paintbrush too and the clone stamp tool to give him more of a comic accurate vibe, like, you know, a more comic accurate version of the design, nothing like too fancy like we saw in Doctor Strange. Next, I got this image of Rudy Panka off the web, so again, I masked him out and placed him on the model, and boom, you're basically 50% done. Like I said, quick and easy poster, but something that stands out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the fun part. Flame on. I mean, not flame on right now, we're going to make him flame on. But my idea for this style is that he's going to be half on fire and half off fire. So basically like mid transformation you can say. So I got these fire assets and started applying it here so you know I can give more of a burn effect that we usually see in the comics. And animations as well, you know. After that, you gotta light up those eyes as well, you know. One real quick tip for you guys is that if you ever want real glow in Photoshop, like a realistic glow, my technique is that I apply the brush tool where it needs to be applied and after that change the blending mode to linear dodge add and that gives it a real strong glow. So basically using clipping mask we're going to put these fire assets on body and guys whenever you have these fire assets with black background make sure you change the blending mode to screen so that way the black background goes away. It's a real good tip I see. So um, I'm just trying different blend modes here to see which one fits the best and let's see um burn a a color burn looks real good here so maybe that. Also, if you have noticed, whenever there is a fire, there are usually sparks, so for this one, we are also going to add some sparks over here and maybe over here. Next, I'm going to design the middle part, basically the area where he transforms from flame into the human body, you know, something plain, something that looks good. First, I'm going to erase some of the pre-existing fire with the mask tool. After that, I'm going to take the fire asset and place it horizontally using alt-click to make a layer selection of it. After turning it off, I'm going to make sure the foreground is white and press Alt Delete and boom. That gives it a nice in between. Now, to work on the background, I'm just going to use the, these flames and perhaps darken it to give it a more brown effect. Something dark, something like post fire you can see on the wall. That kind of effect. I really do apologize guys if it sounds a bit awkward commentating as this is my first time making a recording of any sorts. So guys, I think we are almost done with this. I think we just need to apply the camera raw filter. So I'm going to press Shift, Control, Alt, E, which creates a separate layer of the composition. And after that, going to press Control, Shift, T to apply the camera raw. And make sure you convert it into smart object first. So here are the values for the camera raw. Nothing too fancy, just simple settings and apply a bit of green as well so to give a natural effect and boom i think we are done guys it's a pretty basic booster as you can see not bad for my first design for this channel so if you enjoyed the video guys a like is always appreciated but not needed and let me know in the comments what next character would you like to see a poster of and yeah thanks guys and here's a teaser for the next poster i'm designing